So here's a couple of extra add-ons for that speed step stuff. So we've got a few progressions you can work through here after you've done your scissor challenge. Okay, so we've got our lateral jumps, level two moving on to lateral skips, and then level three being lateral hops, which obviously are taking all of our body into one side. Uh, so try it three times, work your way up through the levels. You can increase the intensity again by adding the speed off the floor with each one or the distance that you're covering. Depends if you're going for speed or power with what you want to do. Uh, really key that we're using the inside of the foot to land and explode off. There you go. So you can see a couple in slow motion there just to get started. Trying to land on the inside of the foot. Try and coil up that, that elasticity to then drive off without the outside of the foot landing with too much weight. This is useful where we can use our markers so we can try and reach at least across our markers. As you can see, muscles are taking the weight, not landing straight legged into our joints. And with the hops, even harder. So obviously on the outside, we can get our hip across, but on the inside, it's really hard to have any kind of stable base. And just again, be careful of those knees, make sure they're not turning in when we're on that single leg. You can see how the body position changes. So the leg wants to be the furthest part out, driving us across. So our small step strength progressions now. So we've done a little bit of speed stuff, a little bit of power. Um, so now find something comfortable to sit back into. If you're indoors, then great, that'll be fine. If not, um, if you're outside, then maybe do this one on some grass because our back knee is going to be going onto the floor at some point. So again, working our way through the levels, just a few different single leg squat stuff. And if you can, the last one, the shrimp squat, I'm still working on myself. So see if you can beat me to 10. As always with these ones, keeping our upper body up nice and locked in. So as you can see, I'm just making something comfortable for myself. You can use anything you want. And then I'd always recommend just making sure we've got that range. We know where it is because obviously we're going back into it. So we're using our proprioceptive muscles now to sit back in. So the first sequence, we can use that back foot to help push ourselves off. If you can, before we come up, just making sure that that upper body is nice and tall. So you can just see this from the other angle as well. This is really useful to be able to keep an eye on that knee. So what I'm actually trying to do here to stop it turning in, I'm trying to almost push outwards using my hip muscles to keep me nice and strong. So next progression now. So we're coming, same movement down, but as you can see, no assistance off the bottom, uh, off the foot of the bottom there. So I'm using all that strength through the hip to drive all the way through. And if we bring that knee back up, then we get that full extension of the hip as well. So again, just another angle can see here a little bit wobbly on my knees as well. Might take a couple of reps just to get into it. And again, if your back knee doesn't reach the floor and you don't feel comfortable going to that range, just go as low as you feel comfortable. And here's our last one, challenge for everyone. See if we can get a full shrimp squat. So we go all the way, almost in a quad stretch. And this is the hard part, trying to come all the way back up keeping that quad stretch involved as well. So there's your challenge, guys. Enjoy.